and gentlemen, children of all ages, Law Murray on your TL. And I'm going to tell you now, this is the 2024 NBA Epitome Games series, where I pick out one game from each team from the last regular season and putting the spotlight on the biggest weaknesses of the 14 teams that missed the playoffs and the biggest strength of the 16 playoff teams from the regular season. This installment features the Washington Wizards. This is a franchise that hasn't won multiple playoff series in a postseason since they put a three-point line down in 1979. The 2024 Wizards were the worst team in franchise history, losing 67 games and having a bottom three defense. The epitome game for the Wizards came at home in early November against the Hornets during the in-season tournament, two nights after the Wizards won in Charlotte. Getting a stop one time was hard enough for this team, but this game showed how bad Washington was when they didn't finish possessions. Washington has a 12-point lead at the first time out of this game. Brandon Miller gets this ball into the paint off the handoff from Mark Williams, and he misses the first shot, but notice how none of the Washington defenders put a body on him. That allows Brandon Miller to get second chance points. Moving to the second quarter, and Washington still maintains a double-digit lead, and they get a wild shot attempt from Dale Maladon. This isn't an instance where Dan Gafford even needed to protect the rim, but he doesn't get a body on Mark Williams. Mark Williams, that was one of five offensive rebounds in the second quarter, and that forced a timeout. We go to the third quarter. Washington still leading. P.J. Washington tries to go through Denny Avdia here in the paint, and this time Daniel Gafford does come over to protect the rim. That leaves Mark Williams once again naked on the offensive rebound for another putback dunk. This man, Mark Williams, finished the game with 15 offensive rebounds by himself. This was the exclamation point. Daniel Gafford flies out to the corner to contest a P.J. Washington three that's missed. That leaves Landry Shamit by himself. And it's no contest for Mark Williams. In this game, Washington allowed 28 offensive rebounds and were outscored 32 to 7 on second chance points while blowing a 16 point lead to lose 124 to 117. The Wizards grabbed only 45.9% of available rebounds last season. That's the worst mark by an NBA team since the 2014 Lakers. Like that Lakers team a decade ago, the Wizards were the worst offensive rebounding team as well as the worst defensive rebounding team. Assistant Brian Keefe replaced Wes Unsell Jr. as head coach midseason and retains the job to begin next season. Washington traded Daniel Gafford in the middle of the season and Denny Avdia at the draft, while Kyle Kuzma returns after averaging only 6.6 .6 rebounds last season. The big man of the future in the nation's capital is number two pick Alex Saar. But this is a multi-year rebuilding project, and the first sign of progress will have to come on the board. Stay tuned for the next installment of the 2024 NBA Epitome Game Series, featuring the Charlotte Hornets.